Berlin. I didn't know Mr. Bond knew Papa. I think there are many things about Mr. Bond one does not know. It would be interesting to attend night school, perhaps. <laughs> Papa is up to something, I'm sure of it. Your father loves you very much, Tracy. Whatever he may arrange. I know it's for your happiness. What has Papa arranged? Ah, Mr. Bond, thank you. Thank you. Many happy returns. The best years are still to come, let's hope. Oh, hello. Please sit down, ladies. What are you doing here? Yes, wasn't it kind of your father to invite me? Mr. Bond and I are discussing a business deal today, sir. Really? Mm -hmm. No woman would waste this excellent champagne discussing a business deal. Unless, of course, she happened to be part of the arrangement. Olympe, what have you said? Don't blame Olympe, Papa. I'm not your daughter for nothing. Mm, I detect a certain family resemblance. I suggest you revise the terms of your contract, Mr. Bond. You'll find your liability far too expensive. Ah, no, there you're mistaken. Papa. Yes? Mr. Bond wants some information. I wonder what you're talking about. You always taught me that a good host supplies his guests' needs. Uh-huh. And without obligation. And then? I'm not sure obligation is quite the right word. Tell him, Papa. Tell him what he wants to know. Now. Please, please, Teresa. <laughs> There's only a possibility. Nothing definite. Tell him, Papa, or you'll never see me again. All right. All right. There may be a connection between that man Blofeld and the lawyer with offices in Bern, Switzerland, named Gumboldt. Gumboldt. Bern, Switzerland. Yes, Gumboldt. So, now Mr. Bond need have no further interest in me. Another mistake. She always was a headstrong child. I'm sorry, yeah. Where's he gone? Oh, yeah. <laughs>